Welcome back to City Skylines with Cody. I'm Cody. And I'm just checking out what they got. Day night cycle is off. I uh just realized I forgot that City Skylines has this way of playing where you gotta save. I've been. I exited to the menu and didn't save, so it's just gone. Alright, so I'm just gonna repeat what I did more quickly. Which is to decrease budgets and some of the things I don't need so much of right off the bat here. Put myself in a safer buffer zone for the water. mark off some farmland as the default industrial district thing. I'll just do that for kind of all of this. Farmable area. And when I get that capability now in a little bit, I'll mark the rest as an industrial area. Also, I'm looking to buy a school. And of course, trying to get the roads built. Finish off some of the things I built earlier. Repeat those. areas. If I were to build highway access, it might be here. I suppose that's kind of what I'm not like, like quite exactly sure how I'd want to do, but I think I just want to pick up and go up and over. just don't have highways yet, so that's one reason I can't do it now. Hey. A little bit more of classic industrial. Along these roads. I'll need the trash soon. And a school. No reason to spend any more money quite yet. And go. citizen soon. Just leave it where it is. Yeah, it's really tight through there. All right. So one thing I did do is change these roads to sidewalks. So of course they should be easily walkable in this city. That's better. Money came in for the road.
we do that? Gotcha. Okay. Still gaining the population. Should have enough for the water. Let's see. Residential. All right, like that. No industrial needed yet, so just hold up on that. Crash is needed. 16,000 for a recycling center. 30,000 for a high school. These are kind of the next goals. The industrial demand's going up, but so is the housing. Getting a little further, a little faster this time around, just because I'm coming in with a, the same plan. All right, so this is the tiny town area. This is now where we would want the school. I'll do one thing I can do at a time, which is first the additional recycling. And then next, the school. At least for now, we won't be really putting much more industrial there, so I guess maybe we don't really need anything specialized to get in and out. Let's go ahead and lay out a little bit of the farming industrial. Checking I got it set, which I do. Sure, why not more commercial? Right along there. Paired up with it. So this is the thought about residential. Suppose it would be nice to just split the difference on this situation and build residential out this way. Uh, and I think, like, kind of literally what I mean by splitting the difference is making this the three-way intersection and uh, splitting these at some level this would be not quite what I want this is what I want on both sides there 
one passed. This. And, uh, sure, exactly. So I want... Just treat that as a three, uh, this way, this direction. Yeah. Like that. Just put some residential in here. Happy farmers. Oceanside farming. Which reminds me, there's also the fish thing. Let's get up to 60,000. I'm gonna check on the population. Looks like a decent uh, mix. We're needing industrial and residential. Not so much commercial. I could therefore build more residential here. I feel justified about that. And I'll leave space for that decision later. To be road or not. Sewage treatment. For now, just investment more in the budget. Invest more in power. And put the services back up. A hundred. Residential's tapering off. Hmm. No. The idea here is I don't think I want the farms not on an intersection. Earlier I was going to do an arterial that extended. Now I didn't do that. I kind of built this residential area into this instead. I'm not sure I see the advantage in trying to prevent traffic from going through here. Build that school now. These folks are educated. Mark off the industrial area that I'm also going to make for farms. Here would be nice. Shops along this uh, part. Not enough high end customers. 
A nice thing near the school would be a park. Nice big park, why not? I think we need the sewage treatment plant. Hmm, I don't want to take up where that road is. It's good enough place for a sewage treatment plant as any. earlier. Right, power's going to be getting a little thin. So what's next? It's been a little less on water because I built the extra system. Power. The coal is at 19,000. Goodbye. Business that got not enough business. Okay, we got industrial that pulls through there. Thanks. Trips to that farm district. I could shut off truck traffic there if I wanted. cinematic views while we're just waiting on money to accrue. Are you getting quite a bustling metropolis with some large buildings? Packing those commercial centers in. Upgrades all along the way. Park. Mostly very early level houses. Nice river. Yeah, fishing and farming be the next things I want to do. Maybe some lumber. I can afford both the lumber and an extra fire station. I'll build up residential around that new park and high school area. industrial area there. The roundabout. The oval about. New park in high school. Alright, where are we at? Close to the level of money I'm looking for. Power plant is the next goal. 19,000. I could do wind. 
Not ready to do that yet. Want to get closer to the hills before I do the wind. Convert to clean energy. Fire in the farm. Already got the fire truck on scene, all taken care of. All right, coming in on that 19,000 mark. I guess I'll just split the power plant here in my corner. It's about as far as things are gonna get there. And it's ready. It's not residential, is it? No. Nah. Great. All right, so now I should be well overstocked on power as well, so I can kind of kick that down a notch. Kind of micro balancing early in the game. Water, power, high school, elementary. Yeah, fire's not too bad coverage. Pretty much can get anywhere. I don't think there's a problem there, and a lot of public safety is doing good. I'm going to do more farming this way. I can do a little more residential as well. And also Reserve this space now for maybe the whole city park. This looks like a nice set of hills for some residential space. Make that happen. This goes just kind of do the T dead end kind of thing. What are the guidelines trying to tell me? They're way off. farms. I guess a little bit of commercial won't hurt here. Oh. 
And do I have paths? Under parks? Oh, here we go. Paths. Tree paths. Bike paths. Need to turn those guidelines off. Where are they? Where are they? Oh boy. Road guidelines. Turning them off. I forget where to do that. Just one of the options. Gameplay. Pause. In. Random. Disable. Road names. Fire. Hide. Ooh. Pause. Show. Okay. And no, it's none of that. There must be one of those other weird things about it where it's like, alright, where do I find this thing? And I'm going to save. At the end of it. Man. Hmm. Disable the guidelines. Oh, is that it? No. Okay, here we go. Doi. Alright, good. Take all that away. Let's keep the angle and the road lane. Got it. Thank you. For me. Groovy. How much does this cost? Just about a hundred. Alright. Little path. from here. Oh, I'll turn some of this stuff back on. side of this. Oops. One click too long. So long road type. We're gonna stick these. Yeah. Well, that's it for the 30 minutes. Let's get two more last next time. I'm gonna save this time.